Alright, in this video we are going to get my Apple Macintosh SE on the internet. So before I start this video, um, let me just go over how I'm able to do this. So recently I purchased on eBay a modem, as you can see here. This is a Global Village Communications uh, Teleport Bronze uh, modem. It's actually designed for a Macintosh Performa, as you can see there and it is model A861. Now as you can see on the back here, there are not many ports at all, actually there's only two. Um, and those two ports are two RJ11 ports for a, a line in for the phone of course, and in a line out if you have a phone that you want to hook up to the same line as the modem. Now as you can see here, it interfaces to the computer through only one cable. Now this cable actually connects to two different interfaces. It connects to the ADB interface for power and it connects to the Apple serial interface for data. Let me go ahead and unplug it really quickly and show you that. Okay, so here's the Apple serial cable. As you can see, it has the Apple serial logo on it there. And it has the standard uh, I think that's nine pins, eight, eight or nine, I'm not exactly sure, but as you can see, it does have a second wire coming off, and this goes to this plug here, which as you can see has the ADB logo on it, and this plugs into an ADB port. This plugs into one ADB port, and you can plug in the keyboard to this pass-through on it. And like I said, this is only for power. And since my Macintosh SE here has two ADB ports, I just put this in one and use the keyboard in the other. So let me go ahead and hook it back up real quick. Okay, it's now hooked up. So let me go ahead and power up the machine. As you can see the modem has a green LED that came on indicating it's receiving power from ADB of course. And my Macintosh SE is now counting up its memory. It does have 4 megs so this does take quite some time. It does have quite a few extensions installed to support this modem, so um, it does take quite some time to boot. Alright, so as you can see, it is successfully booted. Uh, go ahead and get a control panel. Since I don't have a PRAM battery installed, it puts my sound at 3 and my mouse as slow as it can possibly be. So, um, yeah, I always have to change that every time I boot the system up. But, um, anyway, as you can see, I've changed it now. And we can go ahead and head into the uh, PPP control panel here. As you can see, it says PPP down. I'm actually using Mac PPP, the Mac PPP package on this system. Um, I guess I'll put a link to it in the description. So if anyone else wants to use this, then uh, yeah, you can go ahead and download it. Anyway, I've already gotten it configured and set up properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and click open. Now, before I do, the modem is only, this is only a 2400 baud modem. So therefore, the uh, initialization sound when it connects to the dial-up connection is actually quite different than a standard 56k modem. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect now. And like always, I'm using the no charge dial-up internet service which is a free dial-up internet service. And 
it's connecting. Okay, as you can see, it now says PPP up, which means we have successfully connected. So now, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate an IRC client I got for this machine. Now right here, you can see I have two programs. Um, one is a web browser, and one is an IRC client. And this is actually an email client, which I haven't gotten to work yet, because it does not support SSL encryption, so I have to find an email service that doesn't require such. Anyway, this is a, this web browser here is called Mac WWW. Um, let's make some white balances off. Anyway, this web browser is called Mac WWW. It's one of the only web browsers I could find that was compatible with System 6, so yeah. And right here we have an IRC client called Urkel. So I'm going to go ahead and open Urkel and connect to my friend's IRC client, or my friend's IRC server. And, yeah, actually I have it saved right here. Okay, as you can see, it is connecting. This actually isn't my friend's server, I'm currently using a different server that I found, but um, yeah, his server is currently down at the moment, so I can't use that. So I'm going to join a room that we use. Alright, and as you can see, I have joined a chat room. So I'm just going to go ahead and say something here. spelled that wrong anyway um, as you can see my friend here uh, his alias on IRC is DJ this is actually the same person I um, was chatting with in my previous dial-up demonstration video this is um, DJ computer guy on YouTube I'll go ahead and link his channel in the description so you can go check it out anyway go ahead and type some more Alright, as you can see, he is, I am receiving and sending messages to him, so it is fully working. Alright, well anyway, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect now and give you a web browser demonstration. As you can see, he says 2400 bald, which is the speed of this modem, as I said. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this room. As you can see, he said goodbye right at the last second there. And go ahead and quit. Yes. Alright, now I'm going to open a web browser, Mac WWW. I'll also put a link to both Urkel and Mac WW in the description of this video. Now this is a very primitive web browser. It can it can hardly load any web pages. It has to be a very, very simple web page and it can hardly access, um, it can't access, um, pictures or, um, much text at all. It, and it freezes the system a lot and sometimes it even crashes. So I'm just going to go ahead into my personal server here. And it will take quite some time because this is only a 2400 baud modem. And every time you um, open a web page, it asks you to uh, select a printer, but that's not, obviously not necessary. 
Okay, and as you can see, it is um, a very, very poorly rendered condition of my server. As you can see, this is what it says on my server's main page. Um, welcome to my personal web server, as you can see. And it gives you all the links which are unclickable. Or are they clickable? I don't know, it appears to have just frozen. Let's see what happens. It has to do that every time you load a new page. Ah, it does see. Anyway, I can't touch so that. It did load, it can render links, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, as you can see, it loads all the links on my server. There's actually supposed to be pictures, but they're not rendered, as you can see. And yeah, that is an internet browsing demonstration. So I'm going to go, as you can see, every time I close a window, it just uh, crashes. So yeah, it's kind of buggy. But it works nonetheless. So I'm just going to go ahead and close my PPP connection. So hear the relay click in the modem. Alright, as you can hear, it disconnected. So we'll go ahead and close the control panel here. And shut down the machine. So that is dial-up internet on my Apple Macintosh SE. Hope you enjoyed this video.